Hello everyone, my name is Josh, welcome to Gaming FDL. This is the first ever week of Indie Remix Weekly, which means that I will be showing off my videos and people from YouTube that I like to watch and talk about the news a little bit, just to keep you in the loop. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first video in my brand new series, Discover Indie, I did with my mate Snowy. He came all the way to see me in Birmingham, and we acted like absolute idiots and played Gang Beasts. Um, it's a ridiculous game, as you can see. Snowy gets stuck on a Ferris wheel, he's the blue guy, and then does an amazing stunt there. I don't know how he does it, he's way too good at this game, uh, and is therefore a bastard, because I can't play it like him. Uh, second video, uh, another Discover Indie one. So, Momodora 3, maybe it's just because I'm bad at games, but I uh, I kind of got stuck on this one a couple of times. I did complete the demo. Fortunately, if you, uh, if you want to discover more about action platformers like this, it's quite difficult, so check out Momodora 1 and 2 before you uh, go and vote for this one on Greenlight. There's my stupid mug. I forgot to edit that out. Ah, Narcissus. Now this one I played with my girlfriend. Uh, I managed to avoid looking like the one that's bad at games, because I am, by uh, bringing on someone that's worse at games, because she doesn't play them. Um, we had good fun with this one, we jumped around, there's uh, some good mechanics. Um, oh, and here's my explanation of uh, how the game works. How eloquent of me. Ah, here's my mug again. And Frog Sword! Now, I very much enjoy this game. Uh, Super Meat Boy fans, be aware of this. Um, you can download it for free in the links. You know the drill by now. Essentially, it's uh, got a dash mechanic that I very much enjoy. And you should go and watch the video for the sad story about how this game will never be made. But hopefully something using the same mechanics will appear in the near future. And now on to the news. Town development stops is what I've got written here. And if anyone has seen the game Towns, very similar to Dwarf Fortress, that development has been stopped and many people are very pissed off about it. Makes a lot of sense to me, seeing as they paid money for it before it was even finished. That, however, is one of the perils of early access. And to be fair, Many very good and worthy games have used it and come out on top. Minecraft is the glowing example of how to do this. Unfortunately, sometimes people can't get paid properly for what they're doing and the lead developer who says he's uh, not been able to get enough money because people aren't buying the game, I don't know what that says about the game, but basically after taxes and steam fees and all of that rubbish, he can't afford to pay his bills, which I respect immensely because paying bills is very important to um, you know, be able to work more and earn more and feed yourself and stay alive. One of the strange things mentioned in the update is that he hints at a possible sequel. I don't know if that's a very good idea, seeing as how pissed off the people who've already paid for it didn't get the full game. I don't think that would work. A lot of people will hold bad blood towards him, especially as they can't finish the original. And the other thing I have written down here is Don't Starve will get multiplayer. Now, this sounds like a very smart move on the behalf of Clay Interactive. People love multiplayer, seeing as people have gone absolutely mad for Don't Starve and its DLC, uh, something about giants. I've never played the game, but two people who have are Clueless Evil and Asher the 8-Bit Ninja. I will provide links to their channels. They do awesome, entertaining work with that game and I very much enjoy watching it, even though I have never played the game. It's just one of those strange things. And finally, seeing as my new Discover Indie series, which you should absolutely watch, is based off of the idea of bringing you the most relevant parts of a Let's Play 
and a critical analysis of the good and bad bits of games that you should check out. I was wondering for this week's question, what do you want from indie game coverage that you don't already get? If you'd like to answer that down in the comments, we'll have a nice conversation about it. Please don't resist the overwhelming urge to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And if you really enjoy what I do, I have a Patreon page where you can give a monthly amount to help me out as I bring you awesome indie games to discover. Okay, so that's enough for this week's shameless self-promotion. Thank you for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog.